So while we were in San Francisco, I took the kids over to the little beach area by the pier and by Giardelli's. And I wanted to show you all that after just two weeks, roughly on my leg, I was able to run. Now, what who you're seeing there is my son, Tobias, and he's about to start chasing me. And I took the opportunity to see how well I could run. Now, I haven't run in years because of pain and in stability and balance issues but here I'm I don't you're not exactly going to see me run <laughs> that's my help, daughter help me help me now send help send help oh help help <laughs> were you trying to get mama and here he's going to try to get me one more time. What I found is while I was running on the sand. Mama can't run anymore right now, baby. Sorry. And what I found is while I was running that when I was running with my right leg, which is the amputated leg, um, when I was running with it lower on the sand than my left and I didn't have to pick it up as far or as high rather, I actually ran pretty well. But when I had to run the other way and I had to pick it up higher to make sure I didn't trip, then I had some balance issues and couldn't do it as well. After we had gone to the Exploratorium one day, the next day, we also took the kids to the Bay Area Discovery Museum. And here I am dancing. And this is something that I never would have done before my amputation. You can see my two little ones there. Um, join dancing with mommy and I really got to move on I mean I'm not the best dancer never was but it's definitely something that I get to do again with and for the first time really with my kids I mean I was up there dancing with them for quite a while and five ten minutes I'm still trying to get used to it um, what I can and can't do on it and Enjoying myself. Standing with all my weight on my right is something I'm still trying to get used to and reassure myself that it's okay. It's not so much that I don't trust my prosthetic, it's that I have spent my entire life not trusting my right foot. So I, it's kind of relearning and reshaping in my mind that my right foot is no longer a threat or a danger to my safety, but is in fact very now, very stable for me and something that I can rely on. And here you'll see that this is my daughter and my son and my husband and other son in the background. I walked on that dock pretty well, um, didn't have any balance issues and was able to walk and enjoy life. And my children started wanting to swim. So they started swimming. I didn't go swimming with them. And then we rented a boat. And that's me. Um, and I was able to kind of get in the water and enjoy being in the lake with my children. I'm still pain free this long after surgery. I didn't have very much um, pain after walking around in San Francisco. It was more that I had fatigue from my body not being used to being used like that. There I am again. And I just. Every day I do a bit more. While we were in San Francisco, I was walking probably about a mile a day, um, if not more. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot to some, but for me, I used to only be able to walk about 15, 20 feet before I was just in agony. And it feels like I've gotten my life back. I mean, you can see how happy I am. And yes, it's definitely an experience trying to swim without, you know, two full legs and it's more exhausting and tiring, but it still really has been like I've gotten my life back. I've just been able to enjoy myself and enjoy our children. Um, and I think they've gotten a better sense of being able to have fun and be playful with mommy because I don't always say, oh, I'm tired or I'm in pain or I can't do that. Um, uh, I'm able to try and do these things with the kids.
here we are still on the boat and I took the leg off to get into the water and you know the boat's close proximity so I was able to either just walk on my knees or just kind of jump on one foot um and I really do feel and think that I just I've missed out and today we took the kids here on the beach and you can't see it here that we're going to go to these inflatables tomorrow with the kids and I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to try to be able to climb up here and see if I can do it with the kids. I'll let you know more later. Um, and I took the kids out into the water. I walked up to this area here with my hands free crutch, took the hands free crutch off when I got into the water. Um, and then one of my kids dragged it up to the shore for me. And then I swam all the way out here to the buoys and was able to swim back. And, you know, I will say that trying to get back out of the lake was a lot harder than getting out of a pool based on the fact that there's no handrail and it's a shallow gradual incre uh, incline, but I had nothing to help me stand up. So it took a good few minutes. I saw my husband on the shore kind of waiting to see if he needed to come out and help me stand up. And my son Tobias ran out um, to help me and he let me use him to stand up. Mind you, he's only four and that's him there in my profile picture. But I was able to use him just to kind of balance myself and stand back up. But life has been truly... Um, given back to me by having my leg amputated. So I would definitely encourage you and your doctors, if you're feeling like you're missing out because of pain and you have something similar to what I have, might want to give it a thought. I mean, I don't, it's not for everybody, but for me, it's definitely been life-saving and life-changing.